Hi guys, this is Megan from the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I'm going to show you how I like to swallow my babies. Both of my babies have loved to be swallowed, they feel really secure and they sleep so much better. They can sleep way longer stretches when they're swaddled. So I've learned a few tips and tricks along the way to help keep them swaddled because babies are notorious for breaking out of swaddles. I just use the muslin swaddle blankets or the knit kind and I've learned quite a few tricks to keep them from breaking out of those and it's worked really well. So I'm just gonna show you how I like to swallow my babies and I hope this is helpful. So I have a knit swaddle here. This is a copper pearl knit swaddle and these are amazing. I find that the ones that are really stretchy, you can really get a good fit around them. They work a little bit better than the muslin swaddle blankets, but I still do really love the muslin ones too. So typically what I do is I take a corner, I usually grab the corner with the tag just so that it's inside the blanket and not visible, and then I fold this corner down like this and I lay it out. Like that. So I'm going to do this top corner, it's folded down here like this, and then I'm going to take the baby and I'm going to set him in the center. And now you're going to put their left arm down first, and I'm going to take this and stretch it around them, and then hold it onto the side of their body, and then I'm going to take this other arm down to this side and stretch this around. And then I just kind of lift them up a little bit and put it underneath them. Just like that. And now he is not going to break out of this until he's like four months old. This will work really well up until that time. He's a nice little burrito. But you get really experienced with that and really fast at that rabbit process and it just gets a lot easier. You gotta, you gotta practice a lot because it's hard to get him in it very tight at first, but once you get to of it, it's really hard for him to escape. So now I'm going to show you another trick for if they're getting out of that. This is a completely baby-proof way to swaddle. So I have another swaddle blanket here. This is this is pink. Don't mind. It's just what happens when you're the first boy and you throw up on all your swaddle blankets. I'm going to take this one, and you can see it's a regular, nice big swaddle blanket. I'm going to fold it in half. Like this. This blanket still has the corner folded down here like we had it before. I'm just going to take this one and lay it right here, just a little ways down from the top like that. And then I'm going to take him and lay him in the center again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and put it around his arm and then underneath his body. And same with this side. We're going to take it around his arm and underneath his body. Just like that. So now, that his body weight is holding his arms down, and then you can take your swaddle and swaddle like normal. And there is no way they're getting out of that. So let me just show you that again a little closer. You're gonna put his arm down, put this around it, put it underneath his body, take this side, put it around his arm and underneath his body, just like that. So now his arms are nice and secure in this blanket. And then you take your swaddle and wrap it around them. And there you go. And that is how I wrap a baby in a swaddle blanket and also my completely foolproof way to make sure that they don't escape their swaddle. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.